Hi, Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. For years, it's bugged me that these articles keep coming out about how antioxidants have failed. This is more like in the last five or six, seven years. Johns Hopkins, Mayo, various other universities and medical centers and research entities, even drug companies have tried to get antioxidants to work the way they should have, and they failed. For example, glutathione has never really been validated by anyone until recently. Validation of a product is a big deal. Think about it. They've looked at literally dozens and dozens of glutathions that were supposedly reduced and never could get one validated. I know Cetria has done really good work to validate their glutathione, but it was taken in large doses over a six month period of time. Wouldn't really help someone with liver failure from acetaminophen overdose who's in an ER or had an acute case of shingles and needed help in using it as an antiviral. And I've got tons of more articles sitting here that all talk about how glutathione failed in this study and that study and didn't really work out. Glutathione is the pinnacle of of antioxidants. It's a super antioxidant. All the others really kind of serve it. So it's really critical that we get it to work and work properly. Let's go to the whiteboard. So let me explain how glutathione works, what it really does in your system, at least at its most basic level. It does a lot of really cool things that we could get into, but this is more for the day-to-day -day immune system functionality of the super antioxidant glutathione. Glutathione is available in two forms. Hopefully this will be sped up. This is the oxidized form, which is pretty much useless. GSSG. If you take it through the redox cycle, as it's called, where it is reduced back down, to GSH. This is the beneficial one. This is the glutathione that you need. The redox cycle can be impaired due to genetic errors, due to deficiencies, of certain key vitamins. Uh, what kind of genetic errors like GSTP1 and others uh, can cause it due to um, vitamin deficiencies, due to trauma and other issues. Same with your production of GSH. It can be low due to these same things. This is where the failure occurs. This is what people need, is reduced glutathione. The problem with 99.9% .9 of the glutathione's out there are even the injectables, even the IVs, they're oxidized glutathione. Uh, and I can explain all the reasons why. If you want to ask questions in the, in the footnotes below or in the comments section, I'll explain why that is. I'll try to answer those eventually. Uh, but this is the beneficial version, and the key is how do you get this? What do you do with it? Well, that's where our patent comes in. We're awarded a U.S. patent. That's all I'll say about that. So let's talk about how it works. CD4 and CD8 T killer cells are the hunter-seeker destroyers in our body. They need reduced glutathione. When you do that, when you give them reduced glutathione, you get this. CD4, CD8, T killer cell. Armed with nuclear tipped weapons. This is the GSH molecule. This is the smelly sulfhydro group on the tip. They cover themselves with glutathione like a porcupine does quills. Then they can rumble through your body, through your blood vessels, uh, and remember these are white blood cells, T killer cells, and they can grab like the herpes zoster virus, keep it at bay. We know now from studies that 
low. Neurofound levels let herpes zoster release from your peripheral nervous system in your spine to uh, to cause shingles. So uh, they can grab herpes zoster. They can grab toxins, including neurotoxins. Uh, they can grab um, bacteria or the protective coats of bacteria that lead to drug resistance. Look at the drug resistance studies. Sorry for my writing. They can grab um, heavy metals. They can grab inflammatory cytokines. This is what a super antioxidant does. It does all this. Think of vitamin C, and this is a million times more potent than uh, the vitamin C. Glutathione, armed with reduced, uh, reduced glutathione, um, and CD4 and CD8 T killer cells are a million times more uh, potent than vitamin C ever dreamed about being. It's very antiviral. It's very much a toxin and neurotoxin remover. And it helps heal wounds quickly because it prevents bacteria from growing, especially drug-resistant bacteria. The question is, how do you get reduced glutathione? You can either get it IV if it's done properly. That's a whole other part of our patent. It can be, um, it can be given uh, sublingually or topically. It should be validated those ways. If it's not, it doesn't work. And there's no other glutathione out there that's validated. So you need to find the one that's validated um, and that works. This is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. Go in good health and God bless. Thank you.